I don't have much in the way of advice for, for any of you. I think the, uh, uh, the thing that made, uh, makes any of this work is really, and it's, people have said it in other ways, but, but I, I would say is toughness. Uh, toughness, because this is a tough business, and it's a very unforgiving business. Uh, you can do a thousand things right, but uh, if you don't do everything right, you're, it's, it's, uh, it'll come back and bite you, and we've heard a couple of examples of missions that we, we missed, not by very much, but, uh, but enough to fail the mission. So always, I never give up. Um, I think I learned that lesson. Gus and Al both talked about uh, the Galileo Project. The Galileo Project was one where we st was started in 77, and the idea was to launch it in February of 82, I think it was, and uh, we were going to be launched on the shuttle. This was, uh, and at that time, we were manifested to be the 28th launch of the shuttle. So we were thinking, well, okay, that's going to be pretty good. There'll be a lot of uh, shuttle flights behind us. Within a year, we were at number we were at number 18, and within another year, we were seven. We we're going to be manifest in seven. What was happening was that the shuttle was having development problems. It was kept moving the schedule out. It was that point that NASA said, well, it doesn't make any sense. We're not going to put you on the shuttle. Come up with, can't you come up with something else? Well. I think one of the biggest policy mistakes that was ever made by this country was the decision to uh, terminate the expendable launch vehicle program before the shuttle was really up and running. Uh, and that was done for good reasons at the time, but it turned out that, in, in, uh, I think in retrospect, it was, a, it, was a, it was a bad policy decision. And there was no really expendable launch vehicles that were available to us. But we've we fiddled around with uh, uh, changing the mission. We uh, broke the spacecraft up into two missions. Uh, we put it back together into one mission. I think there was a total of four major programmatic changes to the Galileo program over a period of about five or six years. And keeping all that together and keeping the, the not only the people working on the project motivated, but keeping the people in the political arena. Every mission has two, two communities of customers, the science uh, customers and the political customers. And the political community needed to be convinced that the investment, although it was, we'd spent a lot of money and the targets kept moving out, was still a worthwhile objective. Nothing had happened in all the reprogramming to diminish the value, the intrinsic value of the mission. And we were able to uh, convince uh, people. So never give up, I guess, is what, is what I would uh, say is really an important attribute. Another important thing is always have, a, uh, uh, I used to refer to it as having a horse in every chute. You want to have every possible way out that, that might, uh, that you think, you know, it's not likely that I'll need it. You better have thought about it and so that if something happens, you can pull the trigger and, uh, and, and make it happen. So having a horse in every shoot, never giving up, uh, are important ingredients to managing these, these tough projects.